Hello guys, my name is Liam, also known as Nuclear Dwarf, and I'm back in front of the mic again. This feels all strange and surreal, because hopefully you've already realised that last week I went on holiday because of the title of this video. Uh, yes, last week I went on holiday to Italy with the school, and it was literally the best holiday I have ever been on. So without further ado, let's begin. Yeah, how we doing? So before we begin, I would just like to say that this gameplay is quite old gameplay. It's from uh, Black Ops PC that I recorded ages and ages ago. I didn't do that well, uh, but never mind. Put this, push that aside. We shall start with the commentary. So, on Sunday slash Saturday morning, I had to get the bus from Newcastle uh, at half one on Sunday night, kind of Sunday night, Sunday morning type thing. Uh, all the way up to Edinburgh where we got the plane from there across to Milan. This was an absolutely amazing start to the holiday uh, Just to be with everybody from school and all the six formers were amazing We were there with so it was a year nine year ten and the six form the six form were amazing throughout the trip uh, So after Milan Airport we drove across the country uh, up to Bergamon, which is an absolutely amazing place this was the first chance I had to speak some Italian. Now, I've been learning Italian just for one year, and I really love the language. That's the main reason I went on the trip. And we went to this pizzeria, which is like a pizza shop, but in uh, in Italy. And we, we had to, like, order at one side, and we had a point, and we had to, we had to speak Italian. It was like, vore, un fette di pizza, and then you would say which type of pizza you wanted. And then we went to the other side and we got the receipt and then we went and order the order the pizza. It was, it was absolutely manic. It was amazing though. Uh, that was the very first time I got to speak Italian. Um, and then we went we, we got set in the middle of the square, which is absolutely amazing. It's really old but really beautiful. And then you've got like this uh, bridge that goes across and you have the cathedral behind that or the church, I'm not sure which, but it's really nice, just an amazing square in Italy. And then after going around that and going around the that bit of the city, we got on the bus and we drove all across again to Rosato, which is the place that we stayed for the time we were there. The accommodation that we stayed in was really really good. It was uh, it was very basic but really good at the same time. Really clean. We stayed in a monastery with some Italian monks who were really nice. So after spending a few uh, hours in the monastery playing football, getting things unpacked and doing a fire drill, we went off to go and get something to eat. We went to a restaurant called Il Sorelio, which was amazing. The amount of food you got was just mind-blowing. The six formers went and cooked it all beforehand. They went early and they did all that stuff. And then we all walked up, the rest of us who were left behind, up to Il Sorelio's. And we had the most amazing meal ever. There was five courses, I think, in total. Two meat courses. We, well, we started off with two pasta courses, then we had the two meat courses, then we had dessert, which it was just absolutely amazing. So nice. So after finishing that, well, attempting to finish that, there was so much stuff. We walked back from there down back to the monastery and that's where we stayed for the night it was the longest day i have ever been on i think we so it was like i got up like 11 o'clock on the saturday and ended up sleep uh, ended up going to sleep at like 12 o'clock sunday it was madness <laughs> so then came the second day which was the monday we all got up quite nice and early had breakfast at the monastery which was just cereals and things and then we went off and did some language exercises in the monastery, practicing some verbs and some words and some phrases that we would need to use while being in Italy. So that was quite good. I got to learn some more Italian, some more useful Italian, rather than the Italian we learn at school. Uh, while we were doing that, the six formers went off and did some touring around the uh, village that we were in, Rosato, um, and they took a tour with the mayor around that place. And then after we did the, we finished off doing the language exercises, we went back down to the town where the six formers were and we discovered the town. We went and had to find some different places around the town by ourselves in groups 
and then we went and had a tour of the mayor, mayor's office. After touring around the mayor's office, we went to have lunch at the bar in town called the GM Bar, where we'd previously ordered food to eat, and we ate there. Very nice place. And then we went off to swim in the pool. Um, I forgot my shorts, which is really stupid of me. I was the only person, but then I just wore the shorts I was wearing, and as it was really hot, we just let them dry, and it was it was it was fine. It was all good. And we were there in the swimming pool, and then we got out, and we went up, back up to the monastery again for some more free time and to get all of our stuff ready for what was happening in the evening. So in the evening, we went back down to the town, and we played football in the like the community bit of the town. Uh, for about an hour, uh, then we came back and had lunch, and a few of us went off and played some ping pong, some table tennis, some whiff waff, some pong pong, I don't know, whatever you call it, we had about a million names for them, uh, while some other people went and played some more football, and that was all really good, and then there was a dark darts uh, competition going on, and some people played that, and then some locals came around, and it was really fun talking to them, funniest people ever some like kids uh, our age and a bit older were talking to us showing us uh, some stuff <laughs> um and that was all really good then after that we all went back up to the monastery to go to sleep again for and to end the night there so that day was extremely fun probably one of the highlights of that that part of that night um of the whole trip then on tuesday we woke up again i slept in Bit, bit of a mistake there and we went down to the bus to catch the bus from the city uh, the village that we were in with Zato across to the place called let me see uh, yeah we caught a, tra- a public bus to Bres- Brescia B-R-E-S-C-I-A and there we visited the editors of the newspaper of the sports section of the newspaper and he showed us around the studios of because the, the there they did the newspaper the radio the online stuff and the television and he showed us around one of the television stations and we got to meet one of the presenters that was amazing stuff and he also wrote an article about us and put it on the website i'll link that down below so after visiting that place we got the coach to andro which uh, where we went and visited our partner school called uh, NDLN, which I'm not even sure what's, what it stands for, but we went there and we had lunch there with the partner school. And we went from there to Lake Iseo, which is a lake up that area. We stopped in Iseo where we went around the town, got some ice cream, and then we jumped onto a ferry, which took us to another side of Lake Iseo. We got off that, and we took a walk and we stopped um, half halfway between the walk and we went and had a little swim in the lake. It was absolutely freezing, but your body got used to it after a little while, but that was really good fun. Um, and we jumped out, we got ready and we walked, we finished off the walk where we went to a cafe and we had ice cream and drinks and things and I got to talk to some uh, Italians and some uh, there was two american girls there who i was talking to uh I'll, I'll i'll give you another video on that sometime if it is requested which should be quite good um but after that um we we got on the ferry we b- went back to the v- the village we were at before or the the area that we were at before and we had another hour to go around that place which was great fun again more ice cream more drinks it was uh v- very hot that day then we went to have dinner with the Italians, really good fun, we were speaking English, we were speaking Italian, it was all great, then we packed up, we went and got the coach from Iseo back up to the monastery where we went and slept for the night. So that was Tuesday, that was an amazing day, probably the highlight um, of the holiday, then on Wednesday, which was the last day we were there, We got up very early in the morning and we went to get the coach from there to uh, Lazier. Um, We went there and it was a very nice fishing port uh, next to a lake. And we went and had even more ice cream. If you look at me on Instagram, I've got a picture of my ice cream there. 
and then from there we got the coach again from there to Verona. Now Verona is an amazing place, that's where Romeo and Juliet was supposedly supposed to be, even though it's not really real. And that was great fun, we went there, uh, we toured around there for a while, we went to the um, the arena which was there, which has the biggest, the world's biggest stage, that was great fun. Uh, we then went from there, straight off to Simone, where we went to a castle and we looked around the old town, had, an even, had even more ice cream, had the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. And then there was people, I had like two scoops, and then there was other people who had like four scoops, and it was absolutely huge. <laughs> uh, then after that, we went back to Rosato, where we had dinner at the Rosate Naviglio, which is a place in Rosato. And this was absolutely amazing because we had our uh, dinner. And then we had a really good sing uh, with, with the music teacher was with us, an ex music teacher who came along for the uh, trip, and we sang with him and it was absolutely amazing. We had everybody coming around to that uh, place in town, and there was like the people like the mayor, the people from the newspaper. There was everybody who just decided to come around, and we all had this really really amazing uh, sing song type thing. It was outstandingly amazing. Then after that, we went back up to the monastery to pack for the final day, which was really our day for leaving, which is quite sad, but that's what happened. So on Thursday, we packed extremely early in the morning. We got everything fully ready to leave, and we left the monastery at about 6 o'clock in the morning. The bus was very late. It was all really bad. Uh, bad mix up in the buses, but the mayor came out and he sorted us all out. That was great. And the funniest thing was that we had uh, pizza for breakfast. Only in Italy would you have pizza for breakfast. And we got the coach at about half seven, I think it was, up back up to Milan Airport. At Milan Airport, we eventually got off, and we we went straight through customs, straight through to uh, jump on the plane. We were kind of a bit late, but just on time. And then we got on the plane. We flew back to Newcastle. No, we flew back to Edinburgh, where we got off, went through customs to get back into the country. And we got the bo- the coach from there down back to Newcastle, where we ended up finishing, and that finished our holiday. To recap, I think that was an amazing probably the best holiday I've ever been on like literally the best holiday I've ever been on I would say it was just so much fun the sixth form was were great the teachers were great it was just superb just the best thing I would ever uh, it was just can't put it into words it was so good so that was uh, my Ital- Italy trip sorry for being quite long I hope you stayed till the end but thank you very much guys for watching and I will see you all back next time Bye.